The Pac-12 Conference rejoined the college football party today when they announced a plan to resume its season on November 6th. And we don't have any Pac-12 teams here in the borderland, but we do play host to them for one game a year. ABC 7's Nate Ryan joins us live from the site of that game and what this decision means for the Sun Bowl. Nate? Yeah, Eric, back here at the Sun Bowl with some bull talk. The Pac-12, as you mentioned it, back on rejoining that party. They'll play a seven-game conference schedule beginning on November 6th. But the key date, uh, December 18th, is when they'll be playing their conference title game. Now, that's important. It's two days before Selection Sunday, December 20th, the bull selection process. As we know, the Pac-12, one of the contracted conferences with the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl, the ACC being another. So now with the Pac-12 back on, does this add any certainty to the fact that the Sun Bowl will be played here on December 31st? With this confirmation that they are going to play in the fall, uh, I think that solidifies the, the, you know, the possibility that we, you know, the, the, the fact that we are going to have a game. December 31st, is, is that the date as of now, or is that what you're planning on? Is that when you're planning on playing still? We're planning on December 31st at high noon. Yeah, high noon from Bernie Olivas. All that tentative, though, a lot still has to go right. The ACC, they've been playing football, but keep in mind, they've had to cancel a couple games due to some COVID outbreaks. Notre Dame just canceled their game against Wake Forest this weekend due to a COVID outbreak, and it could mean some domino effect changes throughout the rest of college football. Bernie Olivas told me as such, bowl eligibility no longer a thing, so the Sun Bowl, as well as many others, might not have a choice as who they bring in. I understand, and again, I don't want to be premature, but that the ACC was going to assign teams to bowls, uh, which is fine with us, because hopefully that means that we'll get a team that we haven't had here in a while. Uh, regardless of the record, uh, regardless of the record, uh, you know, to have a, uh, a power five matchup in, in the Tony Tiger Sun Bowl, it's great for us, it's great for El Paso. Bowl eligibility this year, uh, it, it, does, it doesn't exist. Yeah, guys, so it sounds like we'll have a game, but like many other bowl games, we'll start to see we might not have a choice as to who we bring in. So you don't need six wins to get to a bowl game. We could take into account geographic location as far as how long teams have gone without coming. Bowl eligibility is off the table. Another takeaway from that, I guess the UTEP Miners at 2-1 two, two and one are, uh, are going to a bowl game for the first time since 2014. I got a party at my place, right? Nate, it still gives me hope, too, that the Syracuse Orange 0-2 oh this season could be coming here to El Paso to represent the ACC. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Hey, we can. We can do it. We can make it happen. Thanks, Dave.